Hey, I'm Ruben from the Game Dev Guru, and today I have a very special tip for you. I'm going to show you how to quickly reduce the performance overhead that the physics engine has on your game. Now, this comes out of a client who was asking me for help to get his game from 30 to 60 FPS because his players were getting upset. So I started by doing the typical thing I will do with any kind of game, right? Let's go to Unity and launch the profiler and have a look at how this looks, right? So as you can see, all through the frames, we see that there's a huge ahead of the physics engine which is highlighted by the orange color as you can see here so we start with a big block here which is happening in the physics fix update and this one is fine right this is supposed to be here once per frame we do our physics calculation the problem is though that we see this calculation happening all throughout the frame for example here you see that we have a sync rigid body transform and this is happening several times per frame the reason this is happening is because your scripts interact with your game objects right you might be actually moving objects that are represented as well in the physics engine so unity is going to synchronize the virtual world that you have in your game in the hierarchy with the physics engine right the physics state this has to be synchronized so the physics calculation make sense now ideally this shouldn't happen several times per frame this should only happen every time that the physics engine ticks so there is a very quick solution for this which involves going into your project settings and then in the physics category you have an option called auto sync transforms if you disable this and then you keep profiling you will see that these markers do not happen anymore right we don't have the synchronization happening anymore that we used to have here on the left side, right? If we go to the right side, we see that this is not happening anymore, which is great. This is happening no more than once a frame, right? So my question for you is, if you open the profiler, do you suffer from the same problem or not? Because if you do, the solution is very easy. Just disable the auto sync transforms and you will be better off by doing that. All right, I hope this was useful for you. So don't forget to subscribe and take care. See you soon.